As polarization and global tension seem to be at an all-time high, we find ourselves collectively wondering, has humanity lost the wisdom of how to resolve conflict? Our current ways of tackling disagreement through hatefulness, violence, and division often further inflame matters rather than cooling them. Perhaps we need to re-examine more enlightened perspectives from the past on how we might heal rifts and restore balance in this era of heightened discord. In this quest for insight, the ancient Taoist philosophy from China offers a refreshingly different take on resolving conflict. Taoist thought views clashing and chaos as arising from imbalance with natural forces. Through principles of non-action, softness, inner peace cultivation, unity perspective, and non-dual thinking, Taoism provides a guidebook to realigning with the harmonious flow of existence. This cosmic worldview could not come at a better time as we search earnestly for new models of disagreement that emphasize reconciliation over breakdown. In this video, we will explore key aspects of the Taoist approach to conflict resolution and how we might apply this wisdom at a time when our bonds with each other seem so frayed and our shared humanity feels so forgotten. By hearkening back to ancient Eastern philosophy, perhaps we can rediscover the lost arts of diffusing discord and returning to the Tao of peace. A core Taoist text, the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, the founder of Taoism, holds that conflict stems from going against the natural flow of the Tao, or the innate way of all things. When individuals and societies diverge from simplicity and authenticity into abstraction, dualism and desire, tension arises. Adopting artificial labels, judgments and ambitions, rather than living from innate unity with the Tao, is what gives rise to friction. Lao Tzu said, When the great Tao is forgotten, kindness and morality arise. When wisdom and intelligence are born, the great pretense begins. Here he argues that rigid social codes distort the natural spontaneity that comes from living in the Tao. Imposing too many ethical rules and intellectualizations separates us from inner wisdom. This is akin to sibling squabbling when parents force lots of rules, versus playing cooperatively when left to their natural inclinations. Likewise, Chuang Tzu, another leading exponent of Taoism, stated, Perfect harmony reveals natural purity. Constant regulation leads to artificiality. Not comprehending harmony, we invent fine distinctions. Not comprehending purity, we depend on rigid rules. When people abandon intuitive harmony for intellectual formulas, conflict brews. The Taoist solution is to get back in touch with the harmonious balance of natural forces. This is done not through forceful imposition of order, but by a principle of Wu Wei, or non-action. Wu Wei means allowing situations to resolve themselves by returning to their organic way. A stream left alone finds its natural pattern of flow without struggle. In the same way, the wise ruler brings people back in touch with the Tao by not disrupting its subtle operation through excess intervention. As Lao Tzu wrote, The more prohibitions there are, the poorer the people will be. The more laws are promulgated, the more thieves and bandits there will be. Too many top-down rules breed unrest in society. The sage governs by Wu Wei, letting the people's natural goodness flourish without burdensome interference. Cultivating a mindset of softness and flexibility is essential to Taoist conflict resolution. Taoism stresses that the soft and yielding overcome the hard and aggressive. Attempting to forcibly control a situation often backfires by provoking reactive resistance. Like water flowing gently over stone, the soft influence wears down obstacles and brings about change effortlessly. Lao Tzu used the metaphor, Nothing under heaven is as soft or yielding as water, yet it is great power to overcome the hard and strong. Leaders aiming for conflict resolution should therefore not meet aggression with aggression. Creating peace relies on remaining open, compassionate, and flexible when encountering the closed, rigid mindsets that sustain tension. While gentle non-action and flexibility help resolve conflict, the most vital aspect is spiritual cultivation of inner peace. Taoism sees the inner state of the sage ruler as paramount, as outer conditions are seen as a reflection of internal harmony. 
When leaders are fragmented, aggressive, and ambitious, society mirrors these traits. But when leaders attain enlightenment and inner unity with the Tao, this peace effortlessly harmonizes the world without needing to use force. One who is at peace and recognizes their oneness with the Tao is thereby made a leader. But one who lacks this awareness craves war. They see politics as division. If conflict stems ultimately from inner discord, then lasting resolution relies on nurturing unity and wisdom within, which spreads like ripples through the cosmos. As with Mahatma Gandhi's spiritual practices radiating outward into nonviolent change in India, Cultivating an enlightened perspective is also key to Taoist conflict resolution. Taoist thought holds that much discord comes from failing to see the deeper unity behind apparent opposites. Conflicting parties fixate on surface distinctions and temporarily forget their shared source and destiny. The sage retains awareness of the common Tao that runs through all people and things beneath labels and divisions. Chuang Tzu once wrote, the wise soul does not see things as distinct, but sees the Tao manifest in all. Though 10,000 objects differ in form, none strays from its essence. Understanding opposing factions as arising from and complementing one another, as yin and yang, allows integrating them into a harmonious whole. Judgment and dualistic labels are seen as driving conflict by dividing what is truly indivisible. Just like protesters might vilify police as enemies, failing to recognize shared hopes for justice. In the Taoist worldview, the myriad things are but differing manifestations of one essential Tao. However, in ordinary perception, the world's interconnected unity gets fragmented into opposing parts. Good versus evil, right versus wrong, light versus dark. Taoist sages avoid viewing the world through such simplistic lenses. They see that seemingly opposed forces are interdependent halves of a greater whole. Chuang Tzu recognized that conflict often arises from simplistic ideological, us versus them, binary thinking. As he stated, is there a distinction between self and other? Or is there really no distinction between self and other? Holding this non-dual awareness allows conflict to dissolve by honoring each side and moving beyond divisive categories into all-embracing wisdom. The Taoist path relies not on struggling against the inevitable flow of things, but gently realigning with forces greater than ourselves. For like gravity shaping a stream's course, there is a cosmic way that naturally resolves conflict if we cease our egoistic battling and harmonize our lives once more with the eternal Tao. This timeless Eastern wisdom offers powerful guidance on how to approach conflict with balance, unity, and peace. The more leaders everywhere embrace its lessons, the more gently our many global dissonances may resolve. Thank you for watching.